Hello, my nerds. Welcome back to the penultimate episode of The Legend of Dragoon right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another video. In this case, one of the last of the entire series. I can't believe that we're already here. I know this series was started a long time ago, but... If, you know, it feels we've been on a journey, my friends. Anyways, in the last episode, we climbed the divine tree and entered the moon that never sets itself. And we saw a hint that our heroes are going to have to be challenging things from their past. Little specific boss fights that kind of wrap up their stories neatly with a bow. And uh, the first one that we had to do was Miranda. But when we got into where we are now, this, this building in Sergio from 20 years ago... We saw what looked like Hatchel's daughter, Claire, standing right here. She actually disappeared behind this mirror. So that's what we're going to be doing in this episode is chasing her. Uh, but also, I said that I would be grinding out the dancer shoes from the cute cat enemies. And I thought that I would show you the results of that, which went very well, actually. I got them very fast. Uh, but we now have three dancer shoes, which I believe is a perfect amount. That is as many as can be equipped by the characters in the game. Uh, so I got my three and I feel pretty good about it. I, guys, I can't believe it's here. Also, I should say a special shout out to those of you watching in the premieres every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern. Although uh, the premieres for Legend of Dragoon are ending, so I, I'm going to miss you a lot. Anyways, uh, let's continue on. You could also make sure that you stock up or do anything like that. Uh, and I also recommend making sure that Hatchel is geared the way you want him to be geared. We're actually about to get into a fight with Hatchel where no magic will be used whatsoever. So equipping him with things that um, are good against physical damage is probably going to be, going to be your best bet. Uh, but we're actually just going to keep him with that. Make sure he's got the bandit shoes and bandit's ring just to make him incredibly fast. And we need to follow Claire through that mirror. And into... Huh. I understand that this place is not what it appears to be. Uh, but where are we now? A world behind the wall. It seems as if the labyrinth of the moon is not refusing us. No, almost as if it's maybe inviting us. Menentos. It seems this place belongs to them. I think they were the 99th species. Maybe they can tell us something about this place. You know, this place kind of reminds me of the Limestone Cavern. I, I doubt it is, but potentially it, it is from a very long time ago. Anyways, we can go ahead and talk to the Menentos. The Psyche is creating this world. This time, it's whose heart, whose intention. Is it you or you? Or maybe me. The heart is the world. The world is the heart. The created world has your color. You don't see people who you shouldn't see. You see people you have to see. You have to see so that you see. You have to see so you see it. Uh, okay. That's, I'm cool with riddles. Anyways, if we go into this, like, hidden house area, we can actually grab a chest here that has 200 G. We're the best. I don't know why they give us 200 G this late in the game, but hey, they do, and it's fine. You know, you could buy some stuff and things with it, like a, like a pack of gum at this point in the game. But anyways, we can also grab another chest here, which contains a spectral flash. Don't worry, we will be using some magic items. Uh, and also, I thought I would point out that, that this way is actually a dead end for now, so we don't want to go that way. We want to continue this way, chasing after Claire. I'm sure we'll meet up with her soon enough. Hello. Oh, there she is. Hi. With a purple vortex behind her. I'm sure that's fine. Huh? You don't seem to be one of the Menentos. Look at her closely. It's the girl in the room we came from. Oh. Uh, she's the girl who disappeared in the wall, isn't she? Hi, uh, what are you doing here? Hey, uh, Dart. This girl doesn't know about you yet. What? What are you talking about? Let me go now. Uh, she is Claire. She's inviting me. 
Sorry, but please wait for me here. Hatchel! Hatchel was right. The girl was inviting Hatchel, not you. We can only wait for him. Huh. Okay, but as with Miranda, what's going on in the moon? Interesting. You know what's very interesting to me is that Hatchel knows that he's Dart's grandfather, right? For a very long time now. But yet, he knows that Dart's mother was killed by the black monster Rose. And Hatchel hasn't said anything about the fact that Rose killed his daughter. Right? Like, he just hasn't said anything. Claire. Is it you, Claire? It's me. Your father. Don't come here. I hate you, Dad. Claire. Always, always strict discipline. What can I use such a thing for? The power to destroy? The power to hurt people? I don't need such power. I strictly disciplined you since you were little. I... I only had you. I had to hand my art, this ancestral art, down to the next generation. It's not fair. I just want to sing songs, chit-chat with my friends, pick flowers, and fall in love. Our art was never meant to hurt people. It is a martial art to give life to people. Please understand. I don't understand. Oh, and now we have to do battle against Hatchel's daughter before she ever, you know, makes makes dart. However, that happens. I don't know, a stork or something. Anyways, Claire is a thunder elemental boss with only 3,200 health. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to one shot it, but we'll find out. Do you remember the first time we matched wheels? You read my movement in a blink and went on the offensive with swiftness. It was an innate dart. Dart? Innate dart. Innate art. I don't think so. I'm just a girl like the ones you could find anywhere. No, you can surpass me. Nobody has been charmed by the war god as much as you, your hidden power. <laughs> it's hot inside my body. Dad, help me. Somebody is taking me. C Claire, what's wrong? Yeah. Go, oh, zombie Claire. God of War Claire. War God Claire. Listen, I don't know. Anyways, right off the bat, as normal in any boss fight, we're going to go ahead and throw down a speed down. You'll notice you cannot use dragoons and you cannot flee from this battle. So we'll throw a speed down because she's actually incredibly fast, but she doesn't do much power. So you don't have to worry about a power down, even though it'll help you do more power. You just don't really need to worry about that. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to throw a speed up on Hatchel so that he gets some more turns. As with a lot of story-based fights in this game, ones that are a story fight, uh, there is going to be a lot of blocking and, and whatnot while we wait for story to happen. Ooh, I messed that up real bad. All right, let's see if I can counter a bit. Oof, jeez. Messing up my Omni sweeps here. That's okay. Good thing we got a bunch in a row. Ah, oh, what a way. But that'll do it. That's all of the damage we can do. Her health is now depleted. She's only hitting us for 148 damage, which is like, what are you doing? Claire. But the fight isn't over yet, my friends. I hate you, Dad. You did this to my body. It's your fault, Dad. <sighs> no, it's impossible. The transmigration of the war god. Is she demonized? Ah! Incredible. Nobody has ever reached that level except the Founder. The Founder? What is this? Destroy the poor guy! Destroy the poor guy? Oh my. What? The Black Art of Nagarujuna. For God's destruction. How did Claire learn? Well, we better guard here. Guard again. Obviously, every single time she uses that attack, she'll actually bring us down to one health, and she will use that fight numerous times. It is worth mentioning, thought I'd bring this up, that the lower health Hatchel gets, remember, he has the Destroyer Mace equipped, so he will actually do more damage the lower health he is, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, there's nothing I can do. I am the War God. I preside over the art of war and beckon death. 
It was your desire to awaken me. I am the answer to your long quest. No, you are my Claire. You are not the war god. Leave from the body of my Claire. Oh, thwacked again. Thwack. Of course, when you're guarding, only going to do half damage. I can hear. It's the pained voice of Claire. Hang in there. I'm coming to save you. And let's guard again. We don't want to guard too much, actually, because we can use Hatchel later. I feel your art down to my very core. Mind's eye awaken. I don't care about myself. I have to save my daughter, Claire. I'll focus all my body and soul into this and kill the devil that possesses my Claire. All right, here we go. And her last four gods destruction. That, my friends, is the end of this fight. Bam! Nice counter from Hatchel. Thank you, Dad. There we go. Some closure for Hatchel. And we'll get a nice 6,000 experience for that. Of course, Hatchel being one of the only two characters that I have already at level 60, but it's fine. Forgive me, Claire. Uh, I thought we were told to wait, but Hatchel, is it over? Hatchel, you also saw the past. Yes, I did, but... The past wasn't as bitter as I imagined. Uh, what? Seems everything, both the future and past, are filled in this moon. The future, when the world will be destroyed, and our past. Both Miranda and Hatchell were made to see the past by the moon, right? They see. As I told you, we are in reality. It's not an illusion. Maybe they can do it because they are the 108th species and gods. Let's move on. We've wasted lots of time. Indeed we have. And we'll end up right where the vortex is, but now the vortex is gone. So we can use that one spot where we just fought Claire is we can't go there anymore, but we actually can go this way. Uh, this is not a mandatory way, but thought I would say that you can go this way anyways. There's actually a chest at the end of a very long path here that we can grab. So we want to hop over here and run all the way through this area. And of course, I haven't gone over all of the uh, random encounters that we can find here in the moon that never sets. We did go over the swift dragon and the unicorn, uh, which of course are the two enemies that we ran into. But there are plenty others that we need to talk about. It is also worth mentioning that during Hatchel's fight with Claire, I could have just used the Psych Bomb X and it would have ended the fight. Anyways, we can get a chest here, which contains a flash hall. That's all that you can get over here. It's literally all of this way just for that. But still, it's a chest. Of course, for me though, it just, it doesn't feel right for Hatchel to use the Psych Bomb X against his daughter. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I feel like he, he respects her as a martial artist and she him, right? So they would, they would fisticuffs. They wouldn't, they wouldn't use magic attacks on each other, you know? You know what I mean? It makes sense. Anyways, we want to head back into the Menentos Cave and actually all the way back up to where, uh, into the building in Surdio. Because remember, there was a guard there that was actually blocking the door. He said something about how a female had gone missing and he, we couldn't get through until, until she was found. Well, we found her. It was Claire and we defeated her. So back in this room, you can heal up, you can buy more items, you can do whatever you want, uh, but I don't think we really need to do that. And of course, this way isn't suddenly sealed. We can still go back there. Uh, but we don't need to save or do any of that just yet. Look at this, my friends. Look at Bale. Also, if we come talk to this kid, I will be a knight who protects this country. Huh. I will be a respected knight just like my father and protect this country. This little boy, my friends, this little boy is Lavitz from the past. I know, it's cool. The days of painful domination are over. This country will be reborn under the new emperor. 
This country will be fine. Emperor Dole took the throne, and at last we have peace in this country. King Carlo couldn't subdue those bandits. God bless Emperor Dole. Wait a minute. So you're saying that Do that the people are happy, Dole? Interesting. Now, His Majesty Dole is on an expedition to the home of Gigantos. Please come another time. All the way to the home of Gigantos from Bale? Well, of course, because he had to have just found Kongle at some point. Anyways, there's actually a vortex right here that we can jump into. And this will bring us to a really, really cool area. Well, okay, after, after the organs of the moon. It's actually through here. Oh, that music, though. I love it. The Virage theme. Oh, so good. Look at this place. What is this? The ground is so far away. Are we floating in air? Hmm. You can stand up. It seems there is an invisible floor. Uh, look how slowly they get up. They're like, oh, jeez, Louise. Are we really in the sky? Dude, Miru, you are so cool. <laughs> it looks like it, because this is a cloud. No, this is a cloud. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'll be here till Friday. Thank you. Thank you. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> thank you. Stop it. Even I've never been in such a high place. Really, anything can happen. Don't just look at the view forever. We're moving on. Oh. Okay, but I kind of thought this was cool. So, anyways, what is this place? Look at it. It's so cool. There's like a little clouds and smokes. And I like it. And we do have a new enemy that I get to show off. This is a roulette face over here, just like the spinning heads, a darkness-based enemy with 3,000 health, which is actually quite a bit. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and use a Psych Bomb X on these. Uh, those things can do a bunch of different status afflictions, and they also have an 8% chance of dropping a Night Raid. They actually have uh, a little bit less than 2,500 health, because I just did 24,000 or 2,400 and actually killed it. So thought I would point that out. Anyways, the actual way that we want to go is this way, which is going to actually, well, you'll see. Going forward on this very cool... Oh, hello? That is... Oh, no. Michael. No. I couldn't have been mistaken. I was with him for more than 10,000 years. Is that your dragon, Rose? It was the vassal dragon. My dragon. Michael. Uh, it's coming back! Look at the map. It actually leaves holes when it hits. Run! Isn't that so cool? They jump and go! A heartbeat. Yet again. What? They're not around here. It's Darton Rose. They should be fine like us. Of course. It's impossible for them to die from just an attack of a dragon. She called it Michael. Why did Rose's vassal dragon attack us? This is just my guess. But in the moon, I think some sort of feeling that exists in our heart materializes itself. You mean Rose had some caring feelings for her vassal dragon? I flew around here, and don't you think this place seems like the home of Gigantos? Yes, but this was old Holy Land, long, long ago. Ugh! There's one hiding down here! Don't miss even one! Annihilate all Gigantos! Gah! Hey! Dole's coming! Run! Dole? What? Those bandits. There's Emperor Dole. We haven't seen him since the end of Disc 1. Well, I end the courage test, but that doesn't count. There will be no one to devastate the holy land of the Gigantos ever. But 
Your Majesty Dole, it may be too late. Only if Your Majesty Carlo gives us permission to dispatch. Don't talk about him. He is no longer alive. Your Majesty Dole, there is something in here. Come out. A giganto child. I am the new king of Serdio, Dole. There are no more people to persecute you. You can live in peace from now on. What's your name? Human. Get out. Don't be so disrespectful. His Majesty Dole tried to help Gigantos fight against humans. I am a human, but before that, I am a man who wishes the coexistence of all species. Don't you like peace? Me, Congo. Everyone dead. Congo alone. Then come with us. Is this something in Kongol's heart? Then, is that the truth of my Uncle Dole? Uh, Emperor Dole! Emperor Dole! Emperor Dole! Emperor Dole! I have something to do. I go now. Uh... What you talking about, buddy? Well... I guess we can continue up. Now, I thought I would mention that this is the first time, besides, like, the Queen's Fury, that we are in control of somebody other than Dart. In fact, Dart is not in our party right now, like, at all. Uh, but you can't get any battle into any battles right now. I know that kind of stinks because this would be a great time to be like, oh, I want to grind for these guys. But no, uh, Dart is 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 not in the party, but you there's no random encounters here whatsoever. Thought I would just point that out. Kind of annoying, I know. Now, real quick, there actually are random encounters here, uh, but you can only fight them once you've actually regrouped and you have your whole party. So the first enemy that we're going to look at is these psych druids over here, or psych droids. Uh, you can actually defeat these pretty easily. They're magical casters only. They have very, very low physical defense, and you can absolutely destroy them. These are light-based enemies with about 2,000 health. Uh, and they will only cast magic on you. They have an 8% chance of dropping a spectral flash. And they also have uh, the unique ability of Psych Bomb. Just like our Psych Bomb X. They also award the second highest experience in the game for a random enemy. Another enemy that can be encountered here is the Mad Skull. This is a thunder-based elemental enemy with about only 800 health. You will absolutely destroy this thing. Has very high physical defense, actually one of the highest in the game, uh, but very low magic defense. So a Psych Bomb X will just destroy this creature. It also can inflict a bunch of different status afflictions, so I would recommend using a Psych Bomb X or, you know, a Blazing Dynamo might seal the deal. And finally, one of the last enemies that you can find here is going to be the Trap Plants. Now, it is worth mentioning that there really is no reason to come back here, but I thought I would tell you that this uh, this right here, the uh, Trap Plant, I believe this is the only place that it shows up. It's a Water Elemental with about 1,600 health or 1,500 health and has an 8% chance of dropping the Frozen Jets. There you go. That's all of the random encounters that we can find. Moving on. Look at this, man. Gigantos had some really cool-looking areas. Emperor Dole said, Strong leader is required to make equal world. Strong leader needs strong power. Kongo will get strongest power. Heart needs Kongo, so Kongo go. Kongo, what are you talking about? Wait for him here. Hmm. Now, if you did not have the Golden Dragoon Spirit at this point in the game, this next fight, it would give it to you. So you came. Brother, I became stronger. I see. Brother, the strongest. Kongo admire, brother. Brother, Kongo's pride. I see. Brother, Kongo needs power to help Dart to save world. I see. Brother, 
Pungle overcomes now. Pungle overcomes, brother. Come. And we are put into battle against Kongle's own brother, Endora, wearing the armor that we actually see Kongle wear later, potentially maybe finding the body of his brother and, and donning his armor. This was, of course, the armor that he wore in the second time that we faced him in the Black Castle. Of course, he's going to hit us now. Here's a little bit of a cheesy thing that we're going to be doing in this fight. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see the super cool thing where he throws his axes at us and it wraps around us and, and whatnot because we're just going to throw a Psych Bomb X on Endora, which, by the way, is an Earth Elemental with 2,696 health. And we are just going to finish him with a Psych Bomb X. I know it's not really part of the story, but you know what? I think it's kind of cool that uh, Kongle can one-shot with magic his brother. I think that that is so cool. Like, yeah, his, his, obviously it shows that, that Kongle has, has evolved in some way to the point of now, like, no longer relying on just his fist and his axe, but instead the, the intricacies of his courage, right? That was used to make the side. Listen, I think that's cool. So that's why I used it. Anyways, we get Endora's axe, which is Kongle's best weapon in the entire game and 6,000 experience for Kongle, which is actually useful. Kongle, a hero. The strongest hero of Gigantos. Brother, go to the people who need your power. Brother, Gongol is to fulfill desire is the power of destruction. To care for others is the power of truth. You receive the power to overcome Endora, the strongest power. Gongol, the pride of Endora. I am done. Brother. You conquered it, didn't you? Brother, praised Kongle. First time for Kongle to praise. Kongle happy. But... What does the moon want to show us? It's not a moon anymore. It's the flesh of the God of Destruction. And what the God of Destruction wants to show us is annihilation. Let's go. We gotta look for Dart and Rose. Hmm. So I always just think it's kind of weird. Like, yeah, you could storyline wise wait to this point to get the Golden Dragoon Spirit. But then you would, not only would he be like really low with SP and his Dragoon levels, but also it doesn't really make sense with the story, right? Because the story is that the Dragoons are going and doing this stuff. And I, I, it's just, it doesn't really fit. Anyways, right there, we can open the gate and we can grab another item here, which is actually, get this, the Golden Dragon's Armor, which we already got that, but I thought I would just point that out. So we can go ahead and equip Endora's Axe, which uh, raises his attack quite a bit, actually, and instantly kills enemies with given probability, which is very good. Oddly enough, if we go and look at his, like, equipment, he doesn't actually have this. Of course, we bought the Gold Dragoon armor, but I thought I would just point that out that it, you, could, you could also just wait and get it here. Uh, I didn't. But yeah, I just, for the storyline, it doesn't make any sense because they always say, like, oh, the Fabled Dragoons and blah, 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 right? Like, it just makes... It makes no sense that, like, oh, and also the, just the random giganto that's hanging out with them. It's, it, it, you know what I mean? Anyways, so I love this area. I love that it's, it's this place that we've already been to. It's the home of gigantos, and in a way that we haven't quite seen it. Um, obviously, we want to jump down here into this vortex, and... Oh! We'll be brought back to the Menentos Cave across from where we fought Claire. This vortex actually will stay there forever so that we can go back to the home of gigantos. Uh, whenever. And through the Menentos Cave and back to the building in Sertio. Might as well just wait for everybody here, right? We couldn't find Dart anywhere. Hmm. Maybe it's better to wait for them somewhere rather than just blindly look around. Then let's wait here. This town is the only place there are lots of people. It seems that... That is the right thing to do. Okay, but what about Dart and Rose, man? 
Whoa. They end up in like some primordial area. I understand that we lost everybody because the dragon attacked us, but why? Why did your vassal dragon attack us, Rose? Oh, do you see that? That thing's alive! Was it to bring the two of us here? The place filled with dragons? I think... We will find out soon. Let's go. Either to destroy the Virage embryo or to fight against Zeke. I need everybody with me. Rose, I... Don't be so shocked. I trust everybody too. Rose, you're so cool. Anyways, Rose is actually following us around right now, which I think is super cool. Oh, look at these little babies. Rose, what are these? <laughs> this is a baby dragon. It was called a pseudo dragon. <laughs> it seems everything, including the future and past, exists here. My favorite pseudo-dragons didn't make it to the present age, but I'm encountering the past now. But we don't have time to be sentimental. Let's go. Okay. Makes sense for me. This place is very cool, and there are some enemies that I believe you can only find here. I, I know for a fact that there's only one you can find here, and as soon as I find it, I'll, trust me, I'll be sure to let you know. Anyways, we can grab a chest here that contains... <laughs> A uh, night raid. Very nice. And also, look at the dragon like in the... Oh, it's so cool. I love this area so much. So we can't go down here yet. That's actually where we go to uh, leave this area. But we have a job to do. Dart, can you wait a little? He's calling me over there. Okay. Hmm. Sounds like Michael is calling for her. So we're actually going to head this way here. Uh, because there's another item that we can grab, and hopefully I can talk about a new encounter here. And it's the most important one in the entire game. This, my friends, is kind of a unique monster. This here is a Triceratops, Earth-based enemy with 3,200 health and has an 8% chance of dropping a Gravity Grabber. And the reason why this fight is so important is because, one, this is the only place in the entire game where you can find these enemies, and two... Well, you'll see. Now, later on, when you come back here and you have Miru and Miranda and big magic users in your party, or just Rose, apparently, you can kill those in one hit of the Psych Bomb X. And here, my friends, is why that is so important. 120 gold and 2,000 experience. That's right. This is, besides the Rainbow Bird, which is way harder to kill than this, this is the only non-boss enemy in the entire game that gives that much experience. And you can encounter these all pretty frequently actually in this area for a whopping 2,000 experience each and every single time that is I, I don't know if I have to say this but this is the best place to hit level 60 in the entire game if you need to do that this is it right here trust 2,000 experience every single time you face a triceratops and they are not very dangerous honestly Anyways, we want to go this way so I can grab this chest. Very close to opening every chest in the game as well. We'll hop over here and we'll hop down here and we'll grab this chest. Which contains a burning wave. Which is actually pretty use useless because there are uh, swift dragons a lot of, of very much abundant in this area. And they actually have an 8% chance of dropping the burning waves as well. Thought I would just point that out. There's also another enemy that we can find here, and hopefully we see it right here. Which is this enemy here. Finally, actually, this took me a long time to find. This is Air Combat, which is a wind-based elemental with a 1,080 health and has a percent chance of dropping a downburst. Yeah, it took me way too long to get into this encounter. And now that all the special random encounters that we can find in this particular area are out of the way, and trust me, if you're farming the Triceratops, which you probably should be, uh, if you're not level 60 yet, you'll you'll encounter everything you can find in this area. Anyways, before us looks like a statue. I knew it. I know this place. It's where I met Michael for the first time. Oh. 
darkness dragon. Sorry, we don't have time. Winglies are mighty. Mighty enough to annihilate us in the entire species. In order to liberate humans, we have to sacrifice you, dragon. Now is the time to decide. Extinction or war? We choose war. The dragoon spirit left by the darkness dragon, and this newborn dragon will be the spearhead of the war. This baby needs a name. Black Burst Dragon, Michael. How about Michael? Hmm. Rose's Vassal Dragon, the Darkness Dragoon, the Black Burst Dragon, Michael. It's a good name. So, now can we go? Yes. Look at baby Michael. The real war has not started yet. And it's waking up! Michael, don't you recognize me? Oh, it does. It sure does. Now, I highly recommend equipping Rose with the Dark DG, dra the Dark, d d d d d dark Dragoon armor uh, before getting into this fight. Because, well, if, if you do, she's not ever going to take any damage. This thing is incredibly powerful and incredibly fast. Well, she'll take something. You get what I mean. Uh, but the good news is, with how with how fast and strong it is, if we attack Michael, yes. ready? It'll do no damage. Yeah, it's also listen. It's a story-based thing. This fight is actually incredibly long. But Michael is a darkness-based dragon with only a thousand health, but we can't do any damage to it yet. So we just want to sit here and guard all day long. Michael, it's me, Rose. Don't you recognize me? It seems not to be working. It's out of control, just like last time. He forgot the pride of the dragon and turned himself into a mere raving beast. It has a wildness even beyond that affair, Brandt. Damn. What a dragon. It yields to neither sword nor magic. The darkness dragon is the strongest dragon of all, having the best attack and defense along with having the best agility. I don't need to hear about it. Is there any way to defeat him? Michael's shell is special armor for the darkness dragon. It repels any attack by the enemy. Well, what should we do? There is only one blind spot. What is it? Tell me now. God, what should I do? Finally, we're going to tell Dart the blind spot. After he shoots the black laser, his defense falls a second, showing his heart. That's his only weak, weak spot. I guess that means we just have to wait for him to shoot his big old laser, which hopefully should be soon. Like I said, this fight is actually very long. Uh, I just kind of skipped, skipped to the story bits for you. It's also worth mentioning that we did defeat Kamui, so that means that Kamui gave us uh, the darkness stone. We could actually put that on Dart for this fight as well, and he would be do he would be getting half damage from uh, Michael, which means that this fight is actually one of the best fights in the game to farm these two characters' additions uh, because they're they're going to be able to to kind of recover from attacks and not kill their attacker. But obviously, if you're at this point in the game and you're still working on additions, well, you might have bigger problems. And ten minutes later, and he finally uses the attack we need. That will open his heart to us. Which just looks amazing, by the way. Absolutely beautiful attack. Only 468 damage, but you'll notice that we now have another target. The Michael Core. 1,276 damage out of Rose. Dart is going to go ahead and finish the Core. Now, we could have just used a Psych Bomb X. But I thought it would be a little more poetic to have Rose's blade be what finishes off Michael, the Darkness Dragon. That was an incredibly long fight. 
And for defeating him, we'll get 12,000 experience. That's right, because it was such a long fight. They give you a little bit more experience for it. dragon's body is capable of enormous endurance, but its heart is not. After many fights, it becomes savage and starts to blindly attack people, and in the end, it won't listen to the orders of dragoons either. That's why I killed Michael. I killed him with these hands. That's enough of looking back. You have lived for 10,000 years because you didn't want to see the future to be destroyed, right, Rose? You're right. Thank you. You reminded me of what's important. Let's look for Albert and the others. Then we have to head to the core of the moon. Yes, we do. Well, let's head back. We know where to go. We got those stairs. We want to head... Oh, can we do it without getting into an encounter? I don't know. No, no, we cannot. Anyways, down these steps and... This is actually kind of cool. So we'll actually be brought back to, like, the inside of the moon organ area. This way actually leads to, like, the snow area where we fought Rose's... Uh, or Miranda's Rose problem. Uh, and then this way actually leads to... Our friends! Start! Rose! We were right about waiting here. All of you look... Alright. Of course. We cannot fall until we complete our mission. Now, before we leave, let's exchange information. Yay! <laughs> information! I just saw, like, Miru's hop. I see. Dole was in the Homo Gigantos to save Gigantos. Huh. It wasn't the cruel uncle we've known. But it's that Dole who killed King Carlo. Mm -hmm. I think we will find out what the moon wants to show us when we meet Dole. Besides, I think we have to see it in order to proceed, given the facts so far. That's right. Let's go out to the town now. Okay, we could do that, or... Now that we have our entire full party, maybe we go back to some Triceratops and maybe we go hit level 60. What do you say, team? Five hours later and we have an entire team of level 60 Dragoons. Well, except for Albert, but you're gonna see why in a second because, well, it's, you'll see. Anyways, everybody is level 60. It took about five hours to get those last three levels from the Triceratops fights, but hey, it worked, and uh, I feel good about it. And um, I actually, what I did is I equipped Dart with the Soul Eater so that he would always, and I just would wait for him to die every single fight that I got into the, with the Triceratops. And then I would one-shot it with Miru or Miranda or whatever with the Psych Bomb X, and the XP was phenomenal. Highly recommend it. Anyways, we want to head out here now. Trust me, I saved, okay? I saved. We're about two, almost, almost 209 hours into Legend of Dragoon now, which is pretty wild. And let's see if Dole's back. I am Albert. Is Uncle Dole in? I've been waiting for you. Waiting for me. Please go ahead. What? Let me go alone from here. Wow, we haven't seen this room in a very long time. I've been waiting for you, Albert. You have been waiting. Then it's simple. You must know the reason I'm here. You are here to find out the truth about whether I assassinated your father, my brother, and the reason. I would say it was to save Sergio from an incompetent leader named Carlo. My father was not incompetent. He was loved by his people and admired by his vassals. You were a mere six-year-old kid back then. How could you know? What was brought on the people by overtaxation and disorder? 
What can ministers soaked in corruption do? You have been given false truths, so how could you know? Even if... Even if it was the truth, you shouldn't have killed him. I guess you won't be satisfied with words. Defeat me to find out the rest. Oh! And Albert, once again, faces his dark uncle. This, my friends, is the battle against Dark Dole. Thunder-based elemental, of course, with about 1,500 health, but he's not alone. No, we actually have three targets in this here fight. And also, he just attacks ridiculously cool. Nothing special for equipment here, although making sure that Albert can do the most damage possible is a good thing. So we have two things here that we have to fight first. The Light Sword and the Shadow Blade. Uh, both of these have about a thousand health, and we can actually just go ahead and use a Psych Bomb X here. Uh, but I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm actually going to speed up Albert. And now we're going to go ahead and we are going to use the Psych Bomb X to take out both of the swords in the same turn. You know, because Psych Bomb X is just crazy strong. Watch how much damage it does to these blades. It's like, oh, okay, easy peasy. Delete it. Shatter the blade, my friends. He's got some big hands. Uncle Dole. Why did you eliminate my father? It's obvious. The people of Serdio wanted me. They desired my power as the true leader. It is not true. What people desire is not power, it's peace. Who do you think brought peace? Who do you think brought order and hope back to Serdio? Peace cannot be maintained without power. Uncle, you oppressed people with your power. How much value can we give to such a transient peace? What people need is... I don't need to hear about things like justice or love. Power alone does not solve anything. The ideals in reality are different. Wake up, uncle. You are so persistent. And the second blade shatters! Can't be! Can't be! I cannot believe this. How can someone as helpless as you be this powerful? You wouldn't understand this, uncle. You have had faith only in your own power. What did you say? I'm different from you, and I'm not alone. My friends have always been at my side during the many occasions when I was dispirited. I've overcome difficulties. <laughs> Silly. When I was young, my father would often say that he didn't have quite the stature to be king. Without Dole, he couldn't do anything. He also said that it is you who was most likely to take the throne. I can't believe it. That's why... What did he see in me? My father trusted in you. If you had gotten together and governed the country, this tragedy would never have happened. Albert, I am a mere shadow of Carlo. I have no way left but to go forward. Uncle. Well, I think it's time... We're going to go ahead and... You know what? It doesn't even matter. Let's go ahead and whack Dark Duel. Oh, too fast. 1328. And let's finish this fight. I'm so bad at... <laughs> I'm so bad at Albert's additions, man. Oh, no! That dialogue was weird. I wasn't sure for a moment who was talking to who, to be totally honest with you. Why? Why doesn't my power work? Why am I losing even though my power exceeds yours? For Lavitz, who devoted himself to me and fell. For knights who fell in battle. I have to win for them. Absurd. You are saying I have been wrong. I lost so many people in battle. In my times of deep sorrow and despair, my many friends like Dart imparted to me courage and strength. I see. You are not fighting alone. That's why I cannot defeat you. Uncle. I've been unwise to become infatuated by power. But I have no regrets. Carlo, the king's last words were to take care of this country and you. 
We have different ways, but they lead to the same intention. As a man who grieves for the country, the rest depends on you. Uncle. And that, my friends, is the end of Emperor Dole's legacy. Albert finds peace. Somehow. I don't know. That was a very confusing fight, and there was a lot of typos, and I feel like I feel like I feel like they they rushed that real quick. Anyways, we get 6,000 experience for Albert, which means, my friends, boom! Level 60, which is exactly why I wanted to wait, because I thought it would be cooler if he got it during a battle with Dole. Uh, it's just so cool that, that level, level 60 comes after defeating his uncle. It was the sad truth, wasn't it? But the annihilation of the world will generate a sadness equal to the number of living people. I won't let it. I will save both the world and Shauna. We're here for that. Yes, we are. I know this is a little bit of a longer episode, my friends, but I want to make sure that we uh, challenge all of the heroes, uh, past, future, whatever it is that they need to take on. Uh, my hope is that we can do it now. Uh, so that's it for this. The throne room is empty. Uh, I put Miru in the party because Miru is the only one left that has to ch tackle her. What is, hello? Is this an area? Well, this is where, if you remember, this is actually where we came in was through this side door into uh, Emperor Dole's throne room back in disc one. I thought I would just point that out. But anyways, we need to head all the way back to the cloud area. Remember that room that I said, hey, I need to show you this later? Well, we need to go back there now. And I'm pretty satisfied with Miru's equipment. She's got the dancer's shoes and dancer's ring on. Although we could give her a therapy ring, which is something that I would probably recommend for her battle. She might need it. Anyways, into the vortex thing here and into Cloud City. We want to continue forward through the cloud area and this time maybe not be attacked by Michael. That would be nice. And you'll notice that the holes that appeared after Michael's shot are completely gone. But we want to continue this way. God, I just love this whole area. And do you remember way back in the forest of Wingleys? In the place where Miru was from. What is this? This looks so cool. Whoa. There was a statue in the forest of Wingleys that we saw behind a door. A statue of something that the Wingleys called the Archangel. What is that? Incredible. I cannot believe there's a palace more beautiful than the Crystal Palace. That is beautiful. This, my friends, is easily my favorite map in the entire game. The purple, everything. Also, this is one of my favorite boss fights ever coming up. That is the Palace of the Wingleys. It could not be made with human technology. Let's go. Okay, yeah, sure. That's oh, jeez, Louise. The path has vanished. Oh, Miru! Oh, she's at it. She's gone. Miru! Oh, girl. Then there it is. Archangel, the statue that we saw earlier. What are you doing? Oops. Uh, where is everybody? Oh! The, the Archangel? Why are you here? Miru, I know everything. You threw the pride of the sublime Winglies away, and I've been with barbaric humans, haven't you? Archangel, humans are not barbaric. They have many good things, which we Winglies don't have. Silence. Fine, Miru. I will make you remember the sublime spirit of a Wingly, and will be thrust into battle with Archangel. Yes! This fight is so cool. A god amongst winglies here stands before us. This thing has some incredibly, incredibly cool looking attacks and I really hope that we get to see them. Look at that. Subtle, but pretty. Did that restore our health? Anyways, this is a light-based enemy with 3,000 health. And isn't going to be too hard. Its magic defense is quite high, but uh, its physical is actually pretty low. Woo! 36-44. Wake up, Miru. 
You have already seen the reality of arrogant and ignoble humans. Archangel, humans can never be ignoble creatures. They help each other when they are in trouble, even if they don't know each other. And above all, they have dreams and hopes. Silly. Humans are feeble-minded even more than you would think. We have to rule them or eventually they will cease to exist. I don't think so. All the lives in this world are equal. We shouldn't rule or be ruled. Silence, Miru. Well, what do we do? Here, here we go. Look at this attack, it's so cool. An army of winglies. What? Is that not incredible? Another attack, though, that's going to bring our hero down to one health. We're going to go ahead and guard right away just so that we can get some health back, which is why I was saying that a therapy ring is really useful just because Miru is so fast you can get those back. Have you forgotten what we have accomplished? We have stabilized a chaotic world and saved tribes that would otherwise be extinct. Really? Once there was 107 species and half no longer exist. Our rule prevents the subversion of the world. That's wrong. Because there were species that were stamped out during the Wingley's domination. They were meant to be extinct from the beginning. You liar! You destroyed them because they rebelled against the Winglies. Miru, a heretic like you disturbs our ordered world. Shut up. Yeah, Miru, go. Damn. Another attack! Now, we've already depleted all of the Archangel's health, but we might as well attack for funsies. Oh, too fast. 4,000 damage, though. That's what I mean. The physical defense on Archangel is actually very low. You are not real. You are an invented god, so they can justify themselves, Archangel. It's not true. I am a reflection of your mind. The disdain for humans in your mind created me. It's not true. I don't believe it. Miru, don't lie to yourself. You think you can continue to deceive yourself playing a fool like that. You fool. Don't tell me crazy things. I love humans. I adore Dart, Shauna, and the others. This is real. Miru, get out of my sight. I love humans. And Miru has done it. Just by not believing in, in this made-up god that the Winglies created. By loving humans, Miru is able to defeat her, her ultimate boss. With 6,000 experience, it's totally useless because my, we are level 60. We are maxed out. This is a perfect save file because I rock. That was my song. Miru, are you okay? How'd you guys get across? Of course I am. Let's go. Uh, well, where do we go? Uh, can we go over here? What? And this, my friends, is where things get real. What? What is going on here? It's different from any part of the world we've known. Indeed. The places we have been look like places on Earth, but this is a completely different world. Don't tell me. This is the core of the moon? This look is appropriate for the world of the Virage Embryo, the god of destruction, to be born. Let's hurry up. If this is our destination, my dad should be heading here too. Welcome, my friends, to the digital world. Digimon, digital monsters, Digimon, our champion. Anyway, so this is a very strange world and we can, whoa, as the moon appears. Anyways, that is going to end it for our pin ultimate episode of The Legend of Dragoon. The next episode is the very last episode of the entire game. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this. We did a lot. It's been a very long episode, but I feel like it was fun and I got to show you everything and uh, we hit level 60, which is beautiful. I definitely recommend going all the way back and restoring at the end and, and buying anything that you need and, and healing up because we are about to face the final three bosses of the entire game and in the next episode, that's it. It's over. Thank you guys so much for watching. Huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres every Monday, Wednesday, Friday around 2 p.m. Eastern. I sincerely appreciate you guys. And remember, never give up, never surrender to the past.